Yay, yay. Top of Dr. Detail. Uh, I just want to do a quick video real quick, man. Sunday. Hope everybody enjoying their day today. Just want to do a quick video real quick and go over some of the equipment and some of the things that I use to get the job done professionally. Um, I have some things that are not in here at the moment. I got some rags that's being washed right now. I got some um, more items that's being put in here. This right here is just the way that it's going to currently be right now. In the near future, I will be getting some shelving and some drawers and stuff like that installed just to, um, you know, get some more space in here. But right now, I'm working with what I got. I'm going to bring y'all in real quick, man, to show y'all what we got going on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, check and dig, right? So, boom. Now, you know what? I'm going to take y'all in order a little bit. We're going to try to do it in, in as much order as we possibly can. So boom, when I pull up, when I arrive to your place of business or when I arrive to your home, um, I need power. It's not a guarantee that I'm going to always have power on deck when I get there. So I got me a generator just in case. Now, 90% of the time, 95% of the time, actually 100% of the time, I've never had a customer that had a had an issue with me using their electricity. They actually always offer for me to use their electricity if I need to. So that's never been a problem of mine. But professionally speaking, I wanna go ahead and provide my own power, my own equipment, my own water, my own everything. So that way when I do arrive on site, um, when I do arrive on site, I can make sure that I have everything that I need. So I purchased this Generac generator, GP3250. All right, it got two outlets on it. This right here is the switch for the electricity. This right here is my, as you can see, it's obvious. That's my on and off switch. So um, this is uh, unleaded gas operated. So that's good. That's not a problem. Um, I do have to change the oil sometimes. So that's where the oil goes and drains at right there. Ever since I've had this generator, I've changed the oil twice. And I've had this generator, uh, let's see, more than a year, something like that. But yeah, this is a great generator. Haven't had any problems out of it. I actually purchased this generator at a pawn shop for, was it 400 bucks? It was 400 bucks or something like that. I know I got a steal on it. I'm not 100% sure how much these are brand new in the box, but I know it's not $400. I do know that. So anyway, but yeah, this is a um, unleaded gas operated, great generator, never had any issues. So anytime I pull up on site, I always got electricity. Electricity is never a problem. All right, well, since I'm over here, now right here, got my trusted McCulloch steamer. I love this steamer. Been having it for a while. It's been over a year for sure. Um, all I gotta do is put water in there, let it heat up, good to go. Here's my gauge. This gauge right here lets me know when it's ready to go. Once this, once that needle starts to raise up and get right there in the middle of the green, I know it's ready to go. This right here, this controls the pressure of it. Of course, I always keep it on the highest pressure possible. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a great tool right there. This thing right here gets me through. It cuts my time down almost in half. Uh, help me get rid of the stains, the dirt, debris, anything. It's safe on all surfaces, plastic, cloth, leather, uh, suede, it don't matter. Carpet, seats, door panels, I use it for everything. So, love my steamer, got to have it on deck. As y'all can see, I'm over here working, putting my stuff together. So, got my big boy vac. Big boy rigid, 10 gallon. That's the big boy right there. 10 gallon, 6.5 6 horsepower that's a lot of suction all right so i'm thinking about getting a vacuum a little smaller but with the same power i want to keep it at six and a half at least 6.0 i actually would love to keep it at six and a half but i do want to get, purchase me a uh, vacuum it's not as bulky as this one is right here it's not as bulky as this vacuum because I want to try to, um, you know, minimize the space that I'm using. This is a big and bulky vacuum, as you can see. But it's a great vacuum. Never had any issues out of it. Gets the job done. No matter how bad the debris is, the 
gets in there and it gets it out for me. I love this vacuum. Uh, this vacuum was a hundred bucks. I think they had like a Father's Day deal or something going on and they were selling them for $99.99. Great deal. As you can see, I got now this whole, no, no, I take that back. When I got this uh, for the Father's Day deal, this actually came with it. But if you buy this now, this hose does not come with it. It comes with a shorter, thicker black hose with some other attachments and you have to buy this separately. And this sold separately is like 32 bucks at Home Depot. It comes with uh, this here, it comes with this attachment here. It comes with the crevice tool um, and some uh, other attachments. So yeah, rigid vacuum, professional vacuum, gets the job done. All right, so now, I got my extension cords right here. That's plenty of feet. This one right here is, I think that's 50 or 100 or something. I, I ain't even 100% sure. I've been having them so long, I can't even remember. But anyway, that's plenty of feet. 97% uh, of the time, I just gotta use this one. I don't really have to necessarily use that one as often. It's, that one is super long. This one right here gives me plenty of feet. But sometimes I do use that. I just got that on deck just in case. Okay. So I got my cone right here. I use my cone. Uh, to me, it just looks good when I'm working. I got my cone out. Just look a little more professional. And as well, it's for safety reasons as well. Because when I am working on like a side street or something like that. And I got cars coming through. I make sure I got this out on deck. So the cars coming up, they'll see that I'm getting my grind on before they approach the location. All right, and over here, I got my compressed air tank, Anvil. I got this from Home Depot for about 60 bucks, I believe. It might've been a little cheaper than that. Um, it's a small, small air compressor. I think it's only two, is it two gallons? Yeah, I think it's only two gallons. Yeah, there, there, there's the information right there. Two gallons, 100 PSI. Um, I plan on getting an eight gallon. Cause the only thing that I don't like about this is that you have to, once you use some of the air, you have to wait on it to build back up. Now, 90% of the time, that's okay. Um, I figured out, I make it work, but I do want something with a little more ongoing air. And I was told that an eight gallon would be best for that. So I'm gonna purchase an eight gallon air tank soon in the near future. And I got my air hose, this is a hundred feet way more than enough feet as you can see this part of the hose is dirty right here and then you got this part under here that's a little light that just indicates that i really don't even use that much of the hose this is pretty much all i have to use just depending on the location all right so and then i have my bucket right here with all my interior um solutions i have some leather um leather conditioner i have some fabric softener fabric fabric um i got my simple green solution that i use on pretty much everything um i got my spot remover i got my spotter right here for stains all right i got my all my dressing for all my hard surfaces this right here is a special um uh, special solution that um someone put together for me right here this is for a poster and carpet and then i have a few tools around it some brushes got some paint brushes over there on the side all right so these right here man these are just the basics the essentials that you need when you detailing i got other equipment but like i said right now i am just uh, putting my van back together right now so these are the essential tools that i have so yeah, these are the professional equipment, tools, and solution that Dr. Detail uses to get the job done. So be on the lookout in the near future, man, for the van update once I get some shelving. I just wanna get some things to where it'll be a lot more convenient for me to grab my stuff. I'll be getting the holes, regardless of the vacuum that I have, I'll be having the holes to where I won't have to pull my vac out. I'll just have to reel my holes out. And that's gonna, believe it or not, that's gonna save a lot of time. Um, it's gonna be set up nice. So it's all a work in progress. Hey, I started out having them pull up in the driveway. Then we went from the driveway. I was had a regular car, from a regular car to a minivan. And now, hey, started from the bottom, now we're here. Dr. Detail.